And the next few minutes, I want to just share with us about God's big gift that He is made, He has made available to each one of us. I want to just read certain scriptures for us this morning as I, I take a few minutes to talk about God's big gift for us and just show us what God wants us to do to redeem that gift or to receive that gift for ourselves personally. The Bible tells us, first of all, that all of us have a problem. It's the problem called sin. We have all sinned is what the Bible tells us. The Bible says in Romans 3 verse 23, all of us have sinned and we fall short of God's glory. So we fall short of God's standards for our lives. But then our sin, whether small or big, whether few or many, our sin has consequences, the Bible tells us. Sin has an impact on our lives and on our relationship with God. It becomes a roadblock, an impregnable wall, a barrier that disconnects us completely from our Creator God. Of course, many of us make our valiant attempts to break past this wall. We somehow want to reach God. We try through our own religious works, our good deeds, and so on, in many different ways. But the Bible tells us this. In Isaiah 64, in verse 6, it says, We are unfit to worship you. Each of our good deeds is merely a filthy rag. We dry up like leaves. Our sins are storm winds sweeping us away. Each of our good deeds is merely a filthy rag before an infinitely holy, absolutely perfect God. So somehow, our own good deeds will not be able to account for this problem of sin. So the point I want us to understand is this, that we need a Savior. Each one of us needs a Savior. We stand before God with our sin, separated from God's presence, unable to save ourselves, no other human being who can help us, and in need of a Savior. And this is where God himself stepped in. The Bible tells us so plainly that God loves us so much, he came to be our Savior. You see, our sin had to be paid for. God couldn't just turn a blind eye and say, I will absolve you of all your guilt and all your sin. Just come on in. Sin has to be atoned for. A life has to be given in order for sin to be paid and for the sinner to be forgiven. And since none of us could do that for ourselves, the Bible says God loved us so much that he came in to pay the price on our behalf. And this is who Jesus Christ is. God said, I know you can't save yourself, but I'm going to take care of the problem. I'm going to come in and pay your debt on your behalf. That's what happened on the cross. When Jesus died on the cross, he paid the full price. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, educated, uneducated. It doesn't matter any of that. It doesn't matter which nationality or which ethnic background you are. Jesus Christ died for you and he paid your debt in full when he died on the cross. What I want to point out is this, that salvation is a comprehensive gift, meaning it doesn't address just one aspect of our problem. It's not just forgiveness of sins, but salvation, the gift that God offers you and me this morning, deals with every aspect of our need. So this morning, as we get ready to close, I want to ask you, would you like to redeem your gift? The God of heaven is offering you a free gift, the gift of salvation through his son, Jesus Christ. The price has been paid. Your debt is cleared. Your gift is waiting to be redeemed.